What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm here with the boy Jeremy. Jeremy. Nice to meet you, brother. Same, bro. Appreciate you for coming out, bringing out this beautiful SI. And for today's video, we have a 2019, right? 2019. 2019 SI. Nice little review, nice little car. It's got a lot of accurate parts. And that for me is pretty good because they're, they're good homies of the channel. So <laughs> let's get to it. All right, Jeremy, so talk to me about the car, man. It's a 2019. How long you had it for? Going on about two years now. Going on um, about two years. So why, like, you know, there is a lot of, you know, uh, there's a lot of cars out there. Like, you, you know, you got the RSX that I have. You have all these, you have the Type R. Like, why the SI? Like, what caught you the attention on, on the SI? I stepped away from the Honda game. I've always been in the Honda game since I was younger. Uh, and after having Lexuses and Subarus, I uh, I decided to you know get back into Honda game because it was just something that was calling me back. And when I right. saw this platform drop, I just fell in love with it. And when I took it for a test drive, it was it was done deal. It was done deal. I walked away with the car the same day. What are, what are these making out of factory <laughs> power um, power wise? To the crank, they're advertising like a 205, 210. Gotcha. Uh, to the wheel, probably like 180, 190. But That's not bad. One thing I loved about this car is Honda really stuck to its, its heritage with this car. Okay. And really made it very track oriented, very torquey. Right. Uh, they, they get up to speed real quick and they handle from factory with factory suspension, they handle phenomenal. You know, with the adaptive suspension, they come in from factory, you know, sport mode, all that really embraces its its heritage. Gotcha, gotcha. And it does, you know, I mean, you have some mods, but you don't have a lot. Like, but it's very essential what you have. Like right now, it's you know, it's, it's on a Flash Pro Honda. It's Honda, it's a, right? Yeah. It's on a Flash Pro Honda, and you have a little bit of work. So, when it comes to wheels, let's you know, let's talk about the wheels real quick. What are you running on here? I'm running some uh, Abbott One wheels. Okay. Um, pardon me, I don't recall the actual brand, the the make. Okay. But I'm running. The tires was to me the more uh, important part. These are the, the hand cooks, right? The Ventus. Yeah, the Ventus Evo 2s. Nice. Um, the factory all seasons just weren't cutting it. These car, these wheels in rain or shine, they grip no matter what. And ever since I've put these wheels on, it's handled phenomenally. And I fell in love with it. The fitment, everything. These are what, 18s, right? These are 18s? 18 by 8.5s. 18 by 8.5. Okay, that's not, that's not that bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's got a definitely got a nice little fitment. Um, Let's go inside the engine and let's check out the engine now. All right, engine wise we have you don't have a lot of we have you have a you, you were telling me off camera that you have a prl yeah so if you look right down here you can see the prl catalyst downpipe mm -hmm. um inside the transmission i have a clutch master stage four uh, oh, jesus that's a that's a that's a big clutch yeah, for such a stocky engine not stocky but like you know i did it more for the power gains in the future because gotcha. i'm nowhere near done with this car uh, gotcha gotcha i want to do the prl big turbo upgrade and further so i needed a clutch that's going to hold that power later on down gotcha. the line and you had already the transmission i mean you needed to replace the clutch that's why you would you did that yeah right? these cars from factory the clutches slip immediately as soon as, as soon as you start doing uh honda flash pros the stock clutch will start to slip and it's kind of a hindrance you know you can't really do full bolt-ons you can't do 85 you can't do any of that stuff with the stock clutch so my biggest roadblock was the clutch so i said gotcha. pull the trigger i'll do the clutch and then after that i can do my intake intercooler and the rest of my bolt-ons and further down the line the turbo nice man yeah because you know you see a stocky engine like that and you hear stage four clutch and you're like okay that's kind of like an overkill yeah. but it makes sense you know you got you're getting things out the way in that and that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. So pretty much it's just a stock engine, regular 1.5, right? Regular 1.5 liter turbo, yes. Earth, Earth Dreams turbo. <laughs> All right, let's go into the interior, man. Yeah. All right, Jeremy, so go ahead and the interior, man. Tell me what's going on with the interior, man. I see you got a pretty nice little steering wheel there. So believe it or not, my wife wanted to be a part of this build and okay. she wanted to contribute in one way. So I had seen a red Alcantara, a uh, black Alcantara with carbon fiber steering wheel from FKX, but it was like $800. And I told her, I was like, this one dropped, Buddy Clip dropped that steering wheel. Right. And I fell in love with it and it was like half the price. I told her, I was like, I love that steering wheel. She got it for my birthday two years ago. Nice dude. So, so this is a, this is authentic, obviously Buddy Club. What's the, what's the name of it? It's a Buddy Club what? Like uh, Buddy Club Carbon Time Attack Edition. Gotcha. It's nice. Cause it's got like the little, 
the centering mark on the top, flat bottom, red leather. Yeah, carbon fiber, that's pretty good. I see you are, and we mentioned at the beginning of the video, you are running some Acuity uh, stuff here. What yeah. do you got going on? So I'm running the Acuity Stage 3 Short Shifter. Oh, nice. Um, it's got the shifter bushings on the transmission. Mm -hmm. uh, and in all honesty, that has to be one of my favorite modifications to this car so far. Big time, dude. That makes such a huge difference. So, you know, we've been talking off camera that I also have mines and it's like, I, I could get anything for that car. That's that's my bread and butter. Like, I agree. I could do whatever. I could do spoon seeds, all the, whatever you want. That shifter right there just does it for me. Yeah. Man. I agree. And other than that, the, the interior is just pretty much stock. It's, yeah. I love these new SI seats. Like, so nice honestly these, these stock interiors the, the heads up display on the dash it's, it's, it's huge it's phenomenal like, the amount of options that you get you know it's, it's it gives you your boost gauges your timing if you want to have a stopwatch to measure your lap time even measures your g-force and it comes stock stock like that stock nice. like that oh you know honda always stepping up the game it's got the little nice nice little pedals down there too cool man yeah all right jeremy so we're back in the engine again so I did notice you are running the D2s, so what's up with these coilovers? Why, why the D2s? Because I know that there's got to be a lot out there for this car yeah. when it comes to coilovers. So as far as bang for your buck goes, D2 for me was the way to go. Um, the adjustability that was offered with this company was by all means top tier. Comes with uh, camber plates on the top hats, okay. uh, adjustable dampening. Uh, right height adjustment is independent from spring rate, so you can adjust your right height and keep your spring rate the same. Keep, yeah, exactly, exactly. Nice, man. So you you would say that for any SI owners out there, like this would be kind of like the go-to. Yeah. After running them for about a year and a half, I have zero complaints about D2. Nice. A lot of SI owners will complain that when you do the uh, suspension on these cars, you will get a check engine light for uh, really your active dampening control uh, system. Nice. Oh, shit. D2 is very nice, and they also <laughs> supply a uh, bypass module. So oh, gotcha. it's just plug right in, zip tie somewhere in the wheel well, and you got and this one you got the, you got it on this car yeah yeah so i installed those and i got rid of all my little check engine lights that you would get from the adc control and that's nuts good to go that's nuts that you will get uh, a check engine on a suspension yeah because these cars from factory when you hit sport mode it dampens the suspension and makes it tighter right so you have an active dampening control system in the car right. when you delete that system and put a coil over you no longer you're have kind of that. disabling the system you're disabling the system by unplugging it right so the system starts to trip out when you get the bypass modules, everything goes back to normal. Everything goes back to normal. Yeah. As far as a lip, I see you have a different lip here on it. That's not the stock lip that comes with that car. No, no, no. Um, this was this lip was a little bit of a trial and error. Uh, I bought it off of somebody on on Instagram, and just because I liked the way it looked and it didn't lower the car too much to the point where you can't drive it. Right. Um, but as far as painting it goes, it's just been giving me a headache. Uh, I have another lip on the way. Uh, that I should be it's a it's an ABS dynamic uh, okay. lip very similar to a type R lip so it gives the front end a lot more aggressiveness yeah and uh, I can't wait to put that one on instead and and the big difference is that you know what you were just saying now that it's not too low I love how the car is low and it's sitting nice and it's got that track look or whatever but it's not you know it's not so slammed that I mean you got what maybe six seven inches still off the ground yeah. and it's still looking perfect you know it's it's kind of not crazy to see, but like coming from the EM1 where your wheels were 15 inch, yeah. 16 inch at the most, you know, you're running now 18s and I've even seen people running 19s and even 20s on these things. It's, yeah. it's nuts. And they still look low. And they still look low. I mean, right there you get already into the whole stands world and yeah, I guess to each his own. So it's pretty cool, man. It's nice to see an SI like that. Like it's very clean. I love the blue color. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> compared to my uh, DC5, we brought out all the cars out here today. We got Dayron back there. We got Steve out there. I'll leave all the links in Instagram there so you guys can check them out. So when we go to the back of the car, not much, right? Just, uh, well, Just I my, see. Uh, one of my favorite parts, the exhaust. The exhaust, right? Yeah. So here we're running the NVIDIA R400 exhaust system. Mm -hmm. uh, comes with three individual mufflers and a resonating chamber. Uh, running 4.5 inch tips. All three of them are 4.5 inches. 4.5, right? Yeah. Um, What's the size on the on the piping? The piping, if I'm not mistaken, was a 2.75 inch pipe. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're almost at that three range. Yeah. And it's very quiet. When we were off camera. Yeah. It was it's, very quiet. It's, on, on this car, you know, I heard a lot of people doing cat deletes and muffler deletes and all that. And I just, I wasn't a fan of the rasp and pops and bangs. Right. I wanted something more subtle, more deep toned, more aggressive. 
uh, as something that I can drive every day and still talk to my wife in the car. Oh, of course. That's that's a big thing. I think the older we get, we don't. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you kind of grow out of it. Yeah, dude, we don't. <laughs> we, we, we don't want a rat count out there. Yeah. We'll get you guys a clip now of the exhaust. Yeah. Guys, so appreciate you for tuning in, Jeremiah. Appreciate you for bringing out the car, man. Thank you so much for having nice me. Nice little clean SI. We'll get you guys some B-roll, some nice little slow mos. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.